Hey guys, welcome on Mook Club. So today I'm going to show you how to mod MXGP2. First, you have to take your shortcut MXGP2, draw a right click and click on open file location. Then you are in your MXGP2 folder, the installation folder. Create a backup folder. So you click on new folder and you can rename it as underscore backup. Why underscore? Just because um, with the backup you have this folder at the top of the list. And for example, in this tutorial, we are going to mod the riders and especially Tommy Sir. Okay, so in the backup folder, I have copied the mix file I'm going to change. Why? Because if you are going to corrupt this file, you will not um, have a, a solution to recover it and you will have to reinstall the entire game so re-download it from Steam for example and this is really long so go in the characters folder and copy riders.mix for example if you are going to modify rider.mix so you click you right click copy and you paste it in your backup folder okay then you have to download a little program that I will uh, put the download link in the description of this video. This program is called Mix File Remixer. The last version is 016. Open this program. And you have two options, extract files or create a new mix file. What, you, what we want is first of all extract the actual file to Next, open um, to next modify file that are inside and then create a new mix file. So click on browse here and you have to go into your, uh, your game uh, folder. So you can here click and copy the path, paste it there, open and then go in characters writers dot mix. Something you maybe don't know is in Windows you can you can for example choose a file you copy it copy and if you're in a, in a text field and you and you passed you have the the path so you just have to remove the codes okay open it and here you have what which sorry which files are in this uh, in this mix because mix is just a zip archive okay so you have all the files and what we want as we are going to modify this archive and rebuild another one is extract all files that are included so uh, for the destination directory click on browse and on your desktop just create a new folder and call it for example a and you say OK and you make sure you have extract selected files only and you have uncompressed text files. OK, click on extract and here you have the progression. Ah, oh, sorry, I have a... I clicked on the file, so... <laughs> I, I just told you a mistake. You don't have to extract selected files. OK, just click on extract all files, sorry. So I'm going into my folder here A and delete folder. Okay, extract. And here you can see there is 2,686 files that are being extracted. So I can check here that if I refresh, you can see folders are being extracted. 100, 200, okay, during, during this process, I'm going to show you this folder, MXGP2 modes, in this folder you can, you can find multiple bikes, gears, uh, Google helmet and suspension, and there is a readme file, if I open it, in this readme file, this is not, this has not been built by me, 
but I'm going to give you the, the link. I can give credits because I don't know what which guy did this uh, this pack, but thanks to, to him. So here you have for bikes, it tells you that the, the Honda, for example, is chassis 01, so if you want to replace a Honda bike, all 450 are ended with one and 250s are ended with two. So for example, in your game folder, uh, not there, desktop characters here, um, in the in the mix I'm extracting uh, here in my A folder, ah sorry I'm, I'm extracting riders, so, uh, in my game folder, once again, if I go in chassis, chassis are all the bike, and here, the guy in the readme just told you that in chassis 001, this file contains the Honda bike. The, 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 the 021, this one, contain the Yusvana. Yus okay, that's all. Gears are in characters, so that's where we are. And bikes modes to bikes. Uh, bikes mode to bike. There is in the root file here a bikes.mix. This is for suspensions, I mean. Um, you have here in the mode you have suspension, so you can modify the, the fork. Yeah, upon me. Uh, no, both fork. No fork. Only the fork of the Honda and Kawasaki. Okay, so the software just finished to extract all the files. So here in my A folder, I can find in Writer, for example, pictures, all, all, um, all files. That's all TDS files and you have all boots boots are all the boots okay and in suit you got all gears you got color faces suit 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 okay and only suits okay so for example in the pack if I go in gear Searle, for Tommy Searle, you have already the good name to replace the so suit underscore 012, suit underscore 012, here if I open it, you can see it's Tommy Searle, okay? <clears throat> this version is in orange. And in the mode, you have a blue one. Okay. As you can see, you must have an empty alpha channel for the for the, the suit to work. This is how it works. Oops, sorry. This is how it works. For each boots or suites or everything in the game, you have the diffuse map. That's why this is ended with underscore D. Diffuse map is the, the colors, okay? You have the light map, underscore L, and the normal map, underscore N. I don't have preview, I don't know why, but if I open the normal map, as you can see, this is a normal map. So, if I take in the mode the seal stuff, I can copy it and paste it there in the, in the mix I extracted, okay? And then we just have to recompile the mix. So you go back in Mix File Remixer, click on Create New Mix File tab, and 
click Bruce, select your A folder, check the omit root file, and as you can see, here you get your file path, so on your desktop, and the internal file path. This is important to see that it's beginning with characters, writer, etc. Why? Because when you launch your game, the executable, okay, the executable file is in the root. What I call the root is the the really main folder of your game. And to to be able to to see where are the files, your exe is going to check this internal path. So if this path is not correct, ah, nice software. Um, here, if it's not correct, you will not you will have just a game crash. So I have to check that characters, as you can see, is in the root folder, then riders. And what's inside riders is just packed. So I can check, for example, here. This is right. Uh, riders, pictures, shared. Uh, why you get shared? Uh, riders, shaders, sorry, not shared. Hey, shaders, and here you have shared. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, 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 no. This is, I think, I don't know why. That's strange, no? Shared. I don't have anything there. Clot, dirt, dirt mask. Mm. Ah, shared. It's here. Fuck. Okay, sorry. So, you get your, your file list. Here in mix file format, you have to check the last one. So SBK X eighth version, and in your new mix file path, for example, on your desktop, create the rider riders uh, ended with S. Yes, riders dot mix and save. Then pack new mix file. While it's processing, um, what we can do, what we can say. Uh, I can say something, something good is, as you can see, I can open the DDS file into Photoshop, but every time I have this box. In this box, you can see there is NVIDIA DDS read properties. Uh, you can't open DDS files in Photoshop natively. So you have to add a plugin and this plugin is provided with NVIDIA, by NVIDIA, sorry, and I will give you the the plugin link in the description of this video. And thanks to this plugin, you can open and edit your, your file, your MXGP2 files, okay? To install the plugin, you have uh, don't packing. Okay. To install the the plugin, you just have to go into your property open file location, into your Photoshop folder, and you have plugin. And here in plugins, you have uh, file formats because we are talking about something. This is about file formats. I mean. So you have to go in file formats and here I have the plugin. This is DDS64 because I have a 64 bits environment, sorry. And um, you, I think you don't have to, to care about this because this is a, 
Um, this is an installer, so when you download it from NVIDIA, this should install in the right directory. <coughs> so let's check our new mix file. It's on the desktop, so what's a bit strange is if you click on property, this is 3.9 GB and the original is only 2 GB, as you can see. 1.8, so I don't know why the, the, the compression method of the, of the software is not as good as the original one. So you can you can cut and paste the new mix file in your game folder. I don't know why Windows is is dropping the speed like that. I I really hate Windows, you know. Come on. And okay, let's start the game. Don't forget that if you have a crashing game or if your bike, for example, is tra transparent, this is because uh, if you have a crash, it's because there is a path that is incorrect. If you have your bike or something else transparent, this is because you don't have the empty alpha channel. So if your alpha channel is not empty, the game will take all the blacks of the alpha channels and by default, everything is black. So uh, what is black is transparent in alpha, so everything will be transparent. I don't know if I'm clear, but in the future I I think I will do a specific tutorial about alpha channel. So for example, going solo, training, pilot, so rider, going to GP, sorry the game is in French, and if I Okay, you can see I'm in on Tommy, Tommy Searle, and if I press F2 to go in the showroom, here, if it's crashing, this is because you have a path problem, and here you can see it's working. And that's pretty good and pretty beautiful. From here, you're able to modify everything, everything on a bike. And even on your personal bike. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, you can comment it. Don't forget to give me a like, a sub, and what else? See you in the next video. Bye guys.